Today, I want to introduce a creative project. You can see the little dolls around me. If you're interested in fashion design, please join Raffles. Our school is more focused on commercialization, the decoration, and the support material go underneath it. Hello everyone, my name is Valentine. I am the academic lead for Raffles International College in Bangkok, Thailand. So first of all, let me introduce myself. As you know, you don't know, but I started in Thailand, working in Thailand since 2018 until now. But before that, I started in the fashion industry really young. I started when I was 16 as a stylist, working for many brands with Charles and Keith. I think one of my most exciting brands I get to work with was Club Monaco, which is a Canadian brand under Ralph Lauren. I was also the judge for our Canon Marathon Photography Competition. I was also the judge for Miss Tourism Cambodia. And then I fell in love with the fashion industry, even though I started as a fashion stylist first. And then I want to study fashion design. So I studied my bachelor degree in fashion design. And I also studied my master's degree in fashion incubation, fashion business in France. So it's take a long time. So today, I want to introduce a creative project that you can see the little dolls around me. These are our fashion dolls created by our History of Costume 2 student, which included the FMM student and the FD student together. Um, the highlight of this project is for students to try to capture the silhouette of the era, of the period. We start from Baroque, which is around 17th century, all the way to the end of the 19th century. Okay, so that's the whole span of the duration of the era we have to focus on. They have to make little dolls. You can make this by hand, you can sew, you can glue, whatever you want to do. So the idea behind this project is to really for students to understand the impact of history on modern day fashion. Even though we don't see this dress anymore on the everyday wear, but you still see the similar silhouette inspiration from it. So I think it's also very important to understand history and be able to recognize the trend that's coming for uh, as a designer. So let's talk about the process of making these dolls. I'll start off first with a student called Hannah. So this is Hannah's work. She focused on the Victorian Romantic era, which had a lot of revivals from the Baroque and Rococo period. But the difference you can see is the heart line of Bertha collar neckline, sweetheart neckline, and the, you know, kind of like this special sleeves. Okay, this kind of off the shoulder, poofy sleeves. So for the process of making this doll, first of all, we start off with a, a simple wooden doll. You can work with this doll. You can work with an actual doll, okay, Barbie doll or whatever special doll that you like. I think this one's gonna fall. Okay, I'll, I'll just let her sit down there. Okay, blooper, it's all right. And then you have to do research on the colors, research on the kind of fabric, the kind of silhouette. And then you have to build the doll up. Right, so the most important part is aside from sewing by hand, gluing, all sort of good stuff, what you want to focus on is how to get the poofiness of the silhouette. So you have to realize what you need to go under the layer, you see, to make sure that you get the right silhouette, okay? And that happened in real life too. I mean, look at the bridal wear industry. Look at all this poofy, crazy dress you see on the Met Gala. Underneath that is, is a lot of support garments. So by understanding uh, making doll clothes, you, you can actually, the student get to understand the silhouette and you know, the color combination, the decoration and the support material go underneath it. I think that's also very important to, to learn. So if you're interested in fashion design or fashion business, please join Raffles. I think our program is very, very well put together, okay? We focus on not just the conceptual creative side, we focus you on how to make money with your design skills. Compared to other school, there's a lot of haute couture design uh, focus. Our school is more focused on the, I think the commercialization. You can be avant-garde obviously, but you have to also learn how to do the business behind the design concept. I think that's something that set us apart from other school. Give you the dream, the innovation, the creativity, also give you the business mindset, as well as, you know, give you the economical aspect of every industry that you're in.
Every dream becomes reality at Raffles.